In this video, I'm going to take a look at a time-distance speed problem that involves solving a system of linear equations. Um, so let me select my pen. So let's look at this problem. So it is 395 kilometers from Ski Valley to Vancouver. Kim made the trip in six hours, traveling by bus and train. The train averaged 70 kilometers per hour and the bus 60 kilometers per hour. How much time was spent traveling by train? Okay, so we're looking for the time spent traveling by train. So before we attempt to solve this problem, let's first take a look at the relationship between speed, distance, and time. So looking at this pyramid, in order to determine the speed, what we need to do is we need to take the distance and divide it by the time. If we want to find the distance, we would take the speed and multiply it by the time. And if we want to find the time, we would take the distance and divide it by the speed. Okay, so this is a very useful uh, way of remembering um, how to find each variable. And so using this pyramid is very uh, helpful when trying to sp solve problems that involve speed, distance, and time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, assign variables. And so what we're going to do is we're going to let x uh, be the time spent traveling by bus. Okay, so time by bus. And we're going to let y be the time spent traveling by train. So in this case we know that uh, the entire trip uh, lasted for six hours. So we're going to write an equation for this. So we're going to have, so the time traveled by bus, so x, plus the time traveled by train, y, is going to equal the total time, which is six hours. Okay, so that's one equation that we're going to write. So we have, two, we have two unknowns, x and y, so we're going to need another equation in order to solve for these two unknowns. And so what we're also given is we're given uh, the speed, so the average speed um, of the train and the average speed of the bus. And we're given the total distance traveled uh, from Ski Valley to Vancouver. Okay, so the total distance from Ski Valley to Vancouver. Um, so what this equation is going to look like is we're going to have the distance, okay, so the distance traveled by bus Okay, plus the distance traveled by train is going to equal the total distance, which is 395. And, and the way we're going to write this is we're going to use this. We're going to use distance is going to uh, distance is equal to s times t. So the speed multiplied by the time. Okay, so this is the equation that we're going to use here. So the distance for um, the bus. So the distance the bus traveled is going to be, so the speed of the bus multiplied by the time, which is x, plus the speed of the train, which is 70, multiplied by the time that Kim was on the train, so y, and that's going to equal to the total distance of the trip, so 395. Okay, so now we have two equations. 
and two unknowns. So we have a system of equations. And the easiest way to solve this system of equations would be to use elimination. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by 60 because what I want to do is I want to eliminate x. So multiplying equation 1 by 60 I'm going to get 60x plus 60y so I'm multiplying each term by 60 is going to equal so 6 times 60 360 and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate so I'm going to subtract these two equations so 60x take away 60x is 0 70y take away 60y is going to be 10y and 395 subtract 360 is going to be 35. Then to get y by itself I'm going to divide by 10 both sides. The tens are going to cancel out so y is going to equal 3.5. Okay and so that is that is the time that was spent traveling by train Okay, because y represents the time tra uh, uh, spent traveling by train. So the last thing to do is to write a therefore statement because this is a word problem. And, and this, this is in hours okay, because everything in the question is... Um, so the distances are in kilometers and the, dist the total distance is in kilometers. The speeds are in kilometers per hour and the times are in hours. So so our concluding statement would, would be the time spent traveling by train was three and a half hours. Okay, so if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and also check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thank you for watching.